Hello and welcome back to Things to Do in a Game. My name is Steeler and this is Things to Do in GTA 5. Keeping an oh excuse me, sir. Uh, keeping animals as pets. That's right. That's a new thing in GTA now is that you can take any wild animal and you can actually put it in your house as your own pet. Now there are a few downsides to this, but uh, I'll explain that later. But um, right now I have to show you how to do it because it is a slightly complicated process, but uh, nonetheless it should be uh, fairly simple once you get the hang of it. So the first thing you're going to need is for some reason a dozer. That, that's right. You actually need a dozer and you need to go uh, up to Trevor's airfield, which, uh, by the way, if you don't know, is up here by this parachuting thing. Uh, it's anywhere up in here, and uh, I'm actually going to get a cow today to show you, and uh, we'll put him in uh, Michael's house, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've made my way to the cow pasture, and what you want to do is park your dozer right up to the finest steed you can find, and uh, you're just going to want to get out a stun gun. See, uh, this right here, this is a stun gun right here, and you're just going to want to aim for the neck. Now, once he is stunned like this, there we go, he's all stunned and good. Just want to be sure he doesn't get back up. Oh, okay, yeah, so he's not stunned. Okay, there we go. Now he looks like he's stunned. So, once he is unconscious from the tranquilizer, you're just going to want to take the dozer and pick him up. Now, note that this isn't uh, the only way that you can do this, but it's definitely one of the easiest because it has a nice uh, picking up feature because uh, oh oh okay well he ragged out a little bit but that's okay uh, he should still be fine they, they don't weigh very much I it's okay, they probably won't break any bones. Okay, so there we go. He is in the bucket now. So now you do the simple task of just driving back to your house. Now this works with Trevor, Franklin, Michael, but uh, I'm going to have a long drive into the city and I'm going to introduce him to the family as uh, our new pet. So uh, we'll set it right here and hopefully he doesn't wake up while he's in the bucket. Um, after my uh, little stun gun incident there, I, I, I think he'll be fine. Yeah, see, he, he, looks, he looks pretty good. Oh, okay, so uh, now let's find our way out of here and uh, bring him home. So after 30 minutes of driving, I wish I was over exaggerating, uh, you should be at their respective house and now the easiest step of the process is just to get them in the door. So you just want to go up to the door and lower your bucket and then see if you can get them out. Now usually you can just sort of shake them out like this. This usually works. There you go. See the cow's coming out. He's still alive. Don't worry. Even though it has been about um, half a day. That's fine. Uh, so you're just going to keep shaking them. Shake it like a salt shaker. That's a song. We're going to just keep on repeating this process. This might take... Oh wait. No. No. There we go. He's, he's coming out now. See you just got to keep repeating this. And there we go. He's out. Okay. So there's your cow. Uh, alive and well. And you are now going to bring him into your house. So let's just uh, jump over the bucket here, and we should be able just to slide them on in there. So you may need some more drastic measures, but that's fine. You can just take your car and probably just ram right into him, and he'll get right in the door because, of course, you can't pick up an entire cow, right? So he's just going to sprawl out there on the steps. That'll be fine. Uh, it's too bad that it started to rain, but uh, cows like rain, right? Okay, so uh, we actually just sort of ran him over there, but it's fine. They're also tough. They are one of the toughest animals uh, in the animal kingdom. Uh, this could also take a while. So eventually you should be able to get it inside by using a combination of those techniques. And look, he is even a magical disappearing cow. Now these are a rare type that can actually face through matter. And look at that. See, he's still alive. He's twitching. He's probably starting to wake up in perfect timing too because we're just about to get him inside. So let's just maybe give him a little kick and he might get in there. There we go. He's got a... Gotta get him awake in the morning. It is pretty early. It did have a, he did have a, a long, hard drive here, so, you know, I might as well let him relax. But, uh, so eventually you should be able to see something like this. And, uh, now Jimmy and, uh, whatever the hell her, uh, her other name is, I don't remember, uh, she can play with him, and then there you go. And uh, if all fails, then we always have the choice of uh, having some steak for dinner because, um, I don't think he's actually going to be waking up, but that's okay, because now we can get our jerry can, and we can pour it on him, and then we can draw a little trail over here. Oh, there he goes. He's doing his magical disappearing ability, and then we can shoot this, and then we wait and watch as the fire just magically spreads on over here. Oh, look at that. See, isn't that cool? And I'm probably going to die now, so let's put it in slow-mo as we cook up some steak. So that is how to get pets in GTA. This works on all platforms and uh, is a great way to entertain your kids. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.